Since 2019, I had been dreaming of going back to Italy. I was lucky enough to find myself back in this special place this summer where I left a piece of my heart five years ago. This trip exceeded all of my built up expectations and hope and so much more. Though we only had two days here, which felt way too short, this chapter is incredibly sweet. This is a little glimpse at our lovely stay in Sorrento. and slightly delusional, we stumbled into the first place with wine and pizza, which could only be thoroughly enjoyed in the comfort of our Airbnb. In honor of our first night in Italy, we downed both pizzas along with two bottles of wine to wash it down, of course. We found ourselves taking in the beauty of the scenery and counting our lucky stars before taking a dip in the sea and calling it an early night. There is nothing I love more than a slow morning as it typically takes me a while to wake up and feel like a real human being. I'm not exactly an early riser, but I do cherish the mornings where I can wake up slowly and enjoy my simple morning rituals. Mornings in Sorrento were spent on this balcony, sipping strong coffee, chatting, and coming up with our game plan for the day. Hi guys, it's our first day, first full day in Italy. We got here yesterday and honestly, we were so exhausted from all of our travels. So we just had a super chill night, drank some wine, went to the market and got some snacks. And then we picked up pizzas and ate those. It took like some photos, but mostly just chilled and talked and enjoyed our first night in Sorrento. We're not in like the actual city of Sorrento. We're in Meadow, which is like 10 minutes outside of Sorrento. So it's super nice and chill and like not super crazy and busy and crowded but we are literally having so much fun already we feel so lucky to be here and we're just trying to soak it all up my camera's gonna die so i'm gonna charge it for <laughs> we're about to head out on a little walk through the town just to get a couple steps in explore take a few photos and then we're gonna head to the beach because our airbnb as you can see from the previous clips is literally on the beach we just have to take a couple stairs down and we went swimming last night as well but we're so excited to be in the italian sun and just get so tan and just honestly relax because we are just constantly working and like obviously we're still working on this trip but we're letting ourselves relax a little bit more than usual 
school, which is really nice. Finally got a full night's sleep last night for the first night in three or four days. <laughs> when we slept on the plane over here to London, I didn't vlog in London because we were running on one hour of sleep from the plane. The night we slept in London, we got like five hours and then last night finally got like seven. We're still not 100%, but we're feeling so much better. So grateful to be here and we're just so excited for this trip that we're about to have. It's actually unreal and I'm so proud of us and just feel so grateful to be here. So, and I got my Instagram back. So excited about that. Ended up having to pay $400 on Bitcoin, which was a little bit scary, but it's back and we're gonna hope for the best because I was legitimately being blackmailed and still am by this guy who took it down. But we got it back. I'm just trying to not think about it anymore because it I think I, spoke to, <laughs> I think I spoke too soon this morning. So just posting a little Instagram dump just now while we're just chilling. We went to the beach for a little bit. I was just trying to post a little dump. It wasn't working. So I went out of the app and I had a feeling. So I went back into the app and it says, your account's suspended again. There is a man out to get me right now. There sure is. We know who it is. We well. know who it is and- Actually, you probably shouldn't even that. Yeah, okay. It's very upsetting. <laughs> but texted my, okay. text my guy who got it back for me. So let's hope for the best because I- $400 in Bitcoin that I spent yesterday, but it's gonna be back, but in it's like an hour. Room. Anyways, we're <laughs> taking a little walk. A little walk before we go back to the beach for a little and then dinner. The sunset is so pretty, it's already coming down. My nose feels burnty. <laughs> It's literally 9 p.m. We're gonna go catch the bus, head to Sorrento, and grab dinner. I think it's pretty clear that we took full advantage of the restaurant's complimentary wine while we waited in line for our table. We proceeded to order a carafe of wine once we sat down and waited for our friend, hence the chaos of these clips. Nonetheless, the food here was amazing and the lively environment made the whole experience. Put it back in. You spit it back in. Guys, it was like burning my throat. I didn't know what to do. Like, it's a hand sanitizer. Like, I think I'm blacked out immediately. Oh my god. Angela. 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 Cheers. Cheers. That's some more.
couldn't let the night end there, so we headed to Sorrento's main square for a nightcap. Simply getting from point A to point B isn't possible for three intoxicated girls, so we made a pit stop for a chat and a drunk sig when in Europe. One of my favorite parts of traveling is the people you meet or in this case run into along the way. The friend that we met up with this night was a girl I briefly knew from college and we just happened to see her at the Naples airport. It was so lovely to really get to know her as we'd only ever crossed paths a handful of times at school and the three of us just had so much fun this night. And it's moments like this that remind me just how small the world really is. Refusing to spend 60 euro on a taxi, we somehow ended up here. But that concludes our time in Sorrento, so I will see you in part two on the Amalfi Coast.